I'm no expert, but any city with a beautiful Hawaiian beach and a Costco sounds pretty good to me. Does your city have water? Yes. yes. When designing perfection, does your city have electricity? Yes. yes. You first assemble a team of eighth grade STEM all-stars. Hi, I'm Addie. I'm Sophia. I'm Cami. I'm Ava. I'm Aurelia. I'm Penelope. You then begin with the basics. And it's powered by a magnet. Public transportation and energy created by the ocean. What makes Lotus City stand out above the rest? The carbon intake buildings. They're painted with titanium monoxide, which is a chemical that attracts carbon in the atmosphere. Once the carbon goes through the building, it's turned into calcium carbonate, which is then turned into bricks and concrete. Not only will Lotus City take on climate change, but with all of those bricks? In the future, when our population rises, we can expand our city and build more buildings. So along with solving the housing crisis? There's three buoyant titanium tanks located underneath the city and they lift it above the sea level. These students want to float another idea by you. Lotus City is what? A floating city. A floating city. Yes. Out in the middle of the sea? No, it's located off the coast of Ni'ihau, Hawaii, and it's a man-made island. Southern California. The team took Lotus to the Future City competition. Lotus! And beat out 19 other schools. Were you surprised by the victory? Uh, we weren't surprised because we prepared really hard for it. St. Michael's teachers Laura Ray and Crystal Moss say the future looks bright. I'm excited that it's an all-female team in STEM. I think that that's something to be really proud of. The students also included a worship center. The worship center is where everyone in the entire city comes together. People of all faiths welcome. Proud teachers. Proud Very teachers. proud. And we're not done. Now we get to go to Washington, D.C. and compete in a global competition. In Washington, D.C., they all face teams from around the world. We're definitely going there to win something. Especially if the judges like to shop. You've thought of everything, apparently, because you also included a Costco. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When designing perfection, you might as well surround it with paradise. Thank you for saving the planet. <laughs> and also, thank you for that little beach over there, because when I visit, I'm going to be hanging out there. It's called the Cove. <laughs> no city can compete with our beach. In the Zevely Zone. Lotus City! Jeff Zevely, CBS 8.